Welcome to the Boston Institute of Finance's Financial Calculator video tutorial series, College Planning. Let's take a look at the following financial scenario. A client has phoned today with the news of the birth of their first child. Their child was born and they want to start saving for her future college expenses today and have asked you to do the necessary calculations. They assume their daughter will begin college at age 18 and attend college for four years. Current costs are assumed to be $40,000 per year in today's dollars, inflating by 5% annually. They wish to assume a level investment return of 7% annually. This task will be broken down into three steps. Step one is finding the annual cost of college 18 years in the future. Step two will continue with that information and find the lump sum amount needed for four years of college assuming a continuing 7% return per year and 5% inflationary cost of college. Step three will determine the amount of money per year the client needs to invest to meet the dollar amount determined in step two. You will see this set of calculations performed on the HP-12C which uses RPN entry and at the end of the video the keystrokes for the HP-10B2 which uses algebraic entry. Before you begin, make sure to clear your calculator's financial memory registers and set the display to four digits. For this following scenario, please make sure your calculator's mode for time value money is set to begin by pressing prefix G and the digit seven. In this question, all periods are assumed to be one year. Step one is to find the cost of college 18 years from now given an annual inflation of 5%. This calculation can be carried out using the time value money features. You will enter the following information into the appropriate registers. Use the change sign key to enter 40,000 into the present value register, PV. 18 is put into the number of payments register, N. And five is put into the interest register, I. For TVM calculations, you don't enter anything for the payments, and that's fine. If nothing is entered, the calculator assumes a zero. Press the future value key, FV, to complete this calculation. If we round this to the nearest dollar, you will get 96265 Now, this is only the cost of a single year of college 18 years from today. We'll use this information in step two. Step two clear financial registers. Begin mode is always assumed because college, tuition, room and board, etc. is paid at the beginning of the term. Calculating the lump sum needed also means the present value of the annuity due for four years of college. This is a more sophisticated calculation due to the following variables. The first is the client will be paying for college by drawing the money from a fund earning a 7% annual return. The second variable is that the cost of college tuition is still increasing by 5% each year. This is called an inflation adjusted return and here is how to find it. Using the HP-12C, here are the following keystrokes. 1.07 enter, 1.05 division key, one subtraction key, and finally 100 multiplication key. The result you should see is 1.9048. You will use this number, so go right ahead and put it into the register for interest. Enter 96,265. This will be a positive number and put it into the payments register. Four is entered into N. Press the key for present value, PV, to see the total rounded to negative 374,398. Step three is the last part of determining a plan for your client, which is how much to invest each year. Clear the financial registers and begin with entering 374,398 into the future value register, FV. 18 is entered into the number of payment periods register N and seven is entered into the interest register I. 
PV already has a zero from when you cleared the registers, so no need to worry about that. Press the PMT key for payments. 10,292 is the annual amount, and this value is negative, representing cash moving into a fund instead of receiving from it. Now let's look at the keystrokes for the HP 10B2. Set the display to show four decimals by pressing the keys downward orange, disp, and then the digit four. Set the payments per year to one, downward orange key, and then the key marked in orange, P slash YR. Also, set the mode to begin using the key downward orange and press begin end. Press the clear key. For step one, finding the cost of college 18 years from now. Enter 40,000, use the change sign key, and put this in present value. Press five, and enter this number into the interest register. Press 18 and enter this number into the periods register. Finally, press the future value key FV. Step two, lump sum needed for four years of college. Press the downward orange key to do a clear all. First, find the inflation adjusted return, 1.07, divided by 1.05 equals subtract key 1 equals and then multiply by 100 equals. Use this number for the interest and press I to enter it into the register. 96,265 from step 1 then enter into the payment register. Four goes into N, number of periods. Press the present value key, marked as PV, to get the lump sum cost of four years of college. 374,397.8271, we'll use this value, but we will round it. Press the downward orange key to do a clear all. Step three, finding the yearly payments that meet the lump sum goal. Let's use that previous value, rounded to the nearest dollar, 374,398, and enter it into the future value register FV. Enter number of payments, 18, into N, and seven, the interest rate, into the register key marked I slash YR. One final keystroke on the PMT key, and you get negative 10,291.606. Again, this is a negative value indicating cash going into a fund. A final thought on the begin mode for both calculators. It should be noted that begin mode affects the resulting calculation only in steps two and three. In step one, making or receiving payments was not a factor in the time value money calculation. Step three may be begin or end mode based on the problem narrative. In our example, the client wishes to begin saving today, which is begin mode. Be careful though, and read the question carefully, as the narrative may state the client will save for college at the end of each year, in which case the calculator should be set to end mode for step three.